Uh, hello everyone, welcome back. In a new episode here. Um, I'm going to be showing you um, again um, a chart. Sorry, it's one of these chart episodes, but I think for people who are serious about Bitcoin trading, you're going to watch this because um, here's a Mount Gox. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to refresh it just to make sure nothing's changed. Okay, nothing's changed. Okay, so there's your Mount Gox. It's going straight. And remember, these are weighted averages, so kind of going straight. And then when I go to Bitstamp, and I'll refresh this. Okay, um, you'll see it's breaking to a downtrend here. And now when you watch Bitsy, now refresh that and see if anything's changed a little bit. It's doing the same thing as Mount Gox, and so. You're seeing something here with the three different indices that can help you with the trade. So if, um, uh, I'm looking at Bitstamp and I see a downtrend if you look, and it's it's a pretty good downtrend if you look uh, if you if you go by the weighted average. So the way it works with the weighted average is the black line is uh, more accurate to where the price is because it's on a it's on a ten you know, candlesticks average, weighted too. And then uh, the purple one is 25 weighted. So in other words, they, they react differently than the average. Um, it almost kind of, almost gives you a future forecast. Uh, not by much sometimes. Uh, in this case, it's a 15 minute um, chart. So it, it might give you a, a good 15 minute buy or sell signal before it actually uh, a price may actually move in that direction so um, but this chart is obviously deviating from even um, yeah, Bitsy and also uh, Mount Gox so look at that you're seeing a different trend with Bitstamp so um, you know when you see some a deviation like this this could be a, a, a signal because this is downtrending. Um, it may be a signal for the other indices to also uh, start downtrending, downtrending as well, and see as you see those two right there. So we'll we'll see what happens. I'll post the video, and if it if it didn't move that way, I'll follow up on it. If it didn't move that way. I'll also follow up on on that as well. Um, I may just go ahead and, and just make this, you know, cut out and just cut in, and we'll see what happens. Again, this is uh, for people who, you know, serious traders here. Um, even even for people who aren't really that that serious or heavy traders, um, another this is just another signal buy and sell signal that you can use. Just comparing the three uh, indices. So, there you go, and hopefully um, this helps. So I'll cut out here, and uh, I'll cut back in a little bit later. We'll see what happens, okay? All right, uh, guys, I'm cutting back in. Uh, so let's see what's happening here. And so that's the uh, original resistance line here. And, and I remember I started from this point back to another point so if I, if I back out let's see if I back out here where did my two other two points come in okay so my my two point came from here to here and that's where I got this line uh, as you see that's the top line and this is where it's bouncing up right there and if I zoom in so basically from this point on it's been doing skirting that resistance for the most part you see it's just struggling and hitting up and struggling down now here's an interesting thing that I'm seeing now remember the other graph or the other charts that I was showing from the um, bitcoincharts.com um, well now I'm going to go through it real quick with on um, Bitcoin wisdom and you see it's dropping right now well this has already been in decline that's what we talked about bitstamp being different but now, look at Bitsy. It's actually starting to also starting to decline now. Um, you see a big negative drop here. A little like a, a, 
spike similar to this but not as much but that's probably going to be the starting point um, see Bitsy's already uh, this is a bit stamp that's already been trending down anyway and then what we've got here is finally probably Mount Cox uh, eventually following suit after that so so if you pay attention enough to realize the pricing and let's look at all all three at what prices there are also look at the spreads in the price um, some of the things I've noticed is when when Bitstamp is the lowest, um, it tends to it tends to be a downtrending. Um, it's a downtrending for for all major all the three major indices. So um, whenever BitC, let me see here, where's my mouse? Okay, whenever BitC is higher than Bitstamp, uh, prices are most likely going to be trending down. And in extreme cases, um, BitC will be the highest price, and then Mount Gox will be the lowest, especially on a mad sell-off. So, so these are some, some of the things you can watch out for when you have multiple indices, um, different markets, trading different prices and you know they, they have a reason there is a reason for that but at the same time it, it you can see the variations in prices can actually help tell you whether there's an up price action or, or down price action so and let's see what it, what it's doing yeah, it kind of moved back up it's it's staying there but I, I think it's going to start start trending down because that's it's just losing its its steam here, and just to give you an idea. Let me let me back out here a little bit. It it really needs to, and even on a regular average, it seems to be losing some steam here. But basically, what I said is, it's really got to go up here. That it's got to pass this resistance, hit this resistance and then on top of that go above this price as well to continue to have it go up um, that's not impossible but um, considering the the channel that's starting to form here um, I don't know I have to wait and see either way it works for me because I have bitcoins so if it if it moves on the upside, um, yeah, more value to my Bitcoin. If it moves on the downside, I mean that's a, these are perfect times to go in and and buy Bitcoins. So it's always good to have in your account some some cash and Bitcoins where you can move them back and forth. And like I said, on downtrend. Um, you know, just buy little spurts of twenty dollars at a time, um, because it's going to be going down all the time. So if you're wrong on where it stops, you know it's it's not a bad of a loss, and you got you still got a good price. Anyways, uh, I'll cut out here, and maybe I'll, I'll do one more cut in. If not, um, just tune in for the next one. All right, thanks. All right, I'm cutting back in here. Um, I've looked at some other charts and this is from uh, Bitcoin charts here and so uh, let's go back here so this is Mount Gox I'll go ahead and just update it so you could sh you could see it's it is update and you can see the Mount Gox has not really moved into a downtrend and so if I was trading Mount Gox and I'm at, I'm at this price I would be like okay I, I should probably sell because of watch if you look at some other Here's Bitstamp, and like I said, it's been on that downtrend. And you look at that, the the uh, it it you could see the two weighted averages, and it's just going straight down. I mean, it's looks like, it's, and this is already moved on the downside. And whereas you know now you're looking at BitC, and now you can start seeing that that down downward. Let me I'll go ahead and update it again. I mean, you never know. So it's just 15. It can it can move upwards really fast. Oh, okay, 
well there you go so now this one's starting to cross and you can see that it's crossing and it's getting a wider gap just like you know on a down move and an up move you see this wide gap showing so I'm, I'm starting to see some of that here and that's starting to form a, a downtrend there and again uh, I'll go back to Bitsy, uh, Bitstamp and uh, I'll refresh it just to make sure it's so this is a very good this is a good it's not a strong down but it's really a consistent pace look how even those lines are going and um, you know that's that's just consistent selling right now there's not a lot of volume going through um, I'm not sure if everyone's pulling out of the market afraid that some of these exchanges are going to be closed or what's going on but the volume has definitely changed I've noticed that and here's another so uh, let's let's see if Mount Cox has done anything so there's my well there you go look at that drop right there it's starting on a downtrend now and it's it's reacting to the other markets so because most likely other people are doing the same thing I'm doing I'm looking at the other markets they they trade it, it trades 24 7 so um, right now I think um, well I don't know where people would be awake um, but I'm, a, I'm awake at night and at during the day so so this uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wrap all this up together and this is a, just another way where you can get by and sell signals um, they have every one of these things I'm showing you they have their pros and cons okay uh, but together as a whole you can you can really get a good feel of of how to trade uh, at the exchanges because there there'll be times where you know um, in in the real world when you're trading there there may be no action going on uh, for whatever reason okay um, if that's the case that's that's fine because re remember I'm in it for the bitcoins if I was in it for the money I'd be pretty screwed I'd be like well damn what am I gonna do now my money's stuck uh, at the exchange and I I can't do anything so when you when you get into this trade you really gotta be in it long Bitcoin you're only shorting Bitcoin because you're you're trying to buy back in at a better price um, so for for people in my opinion if you want to get into uh, US dollars for Bitcoin you you probably want not not to be a trader or a market maker or anything uh, you would probably want to put money into uh, mining rigs okay so um, I'll, I'll talk about that and then uh, in some of the other episodes um, I'll talk about how you can uh, loan your Bitcoins and you're not really loaning your Bitcoin. You can never really loan your Bitcoin. But you can do is um, I, I don't think you can actually loan your Bitcoins in, in, in any way. It's not like you can make an IOU for a Bitcoin to someone and then have that person come back with whatever a payment of an IOU and you know you give them the Bitcoins or whatever. But I. There's another way I'll, you you can you can loan a Bitcoin. It's a little different, and I only recommend you do this with a friend. But I'll explain that in the next episode, and I think it's a good fun way for others to get introduced to to Bitcoin risk-free. And the, I'm just going to give you a little heads up. It's it's you're going to be giving away Bitcoins to your friends, so they could have fun with it. Either they can buy something, a gift card. They can trade it. They can try to sell it peer to peer, um, and and I'll get into the next episode about it. But but uh, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope this helps uh, everyone out there who's trading Bitcoin to be uh, well. I hope you're all profitable. All right. So I hope you're you're not losing any money. I don't see how you can if you really know what Bitcoin is and and how it works. I I, I just don't see how you can. Um, lose money unless unless you're trying to you know realize US dollars that's that's the only way you're gonna lose money is if you try to realize US dollars if you're in it for the money you're in 
you're on the wrong side of the of the trade on this one. You got to be in it for the Bitcoin. So, uh, student, uh, um, tune in for the uh, next episode. Bye now.